Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. We received an absolute epic gem today with this 95 rated Fuddy's Gelson Martins. This card looks absolutely cracked. I have completed them. I'm going to take them into a few Rivals matches, test them out, let you guys know if he's worth it. But before we begin this review, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So when you take a look at the stats for Gelson Martins, you can see there the perfect pace, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. He already has 98 attack positioning. His finishing needs a little bit of a boost, which is why he is perfect for a marksman Kim style. One of the things I don't like about Marksman, it doesn't boost attack positioning, but his attack positioning is already 98, so doesn't hurt. So Marksman will boost finishing, boost long shots, boost reactions, and boost strength. If you're going to play him as a winger, you could maybe make an argument to use a dead eye chem style to boost the passing up a little bit, but I still like the strength boost even for my winger, so I think that marksman is going to be the best thing for him. Also, look at that 99 composure. I mean, this is just absolutely insane. Then we look at his actual player bio. You can see there are five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. I am dying to try this card out, so let's just get right to it, go into our first match. All right, let's get a touch with Gelson Martins. Oh, he feels really nice on the ball. The ball seems glued to his foot. Directional nutmeg. Gelson, oh my God, I am in love, boys. I am in love. Gelson Martins, absolutely insane. Felt like the ball was really sticky to his feet. We were able to get that quick directional nutmeg, get right by our defender, and then just to be able to bury it from that angle was absolutely beautiful. So pretty amazing early going for Gelson Martins. Let's see if he can keep it going. Nice run there. It was a terrible pass from a tall, but that was a really nice run there from Gelson Martins. He was starting to, if it would have been a better pass, he'd have been 1v1 versus the keeper and would have had a good chance at a goal. Just couldn't get enough power on it. There we go. We've got Martins free again. Can he bury that one? Come on, come up with it. Uh, couldn't quite get that one buried. He's one of those cards that's just fun to dribble with. I mean, just feels so responsive. I'm a big left stick dribbler, so it's nice when I have cards that are this responsive. All right, let's see what we can do in the second half. In the first half, I was kind of testing out how Gelson Martins would do with some of his runs. I really like the runs he's making. There were several times when he would even alter his run. He would be going, you know, outside of a center back. Then he would change it to inside of a center back. So I'm really digging his runs. This half, let's see if we can get a little bit more. Maybe just try to get him inside the box. See what he can do as long as we can recover from those terrible passes. Come on, Gelson. Ma okay, Gelson Martin's drawing the pin for us. That should have been a red card, too. Here we go. Let's test out the weak foot. There we go to seal the game. Gelson Martin's burying the one late. It's nice. Just I don't know. I've just really enjoyed this card. He's been so responsive, able to dance with him in the box, cause all sorts of problems, and just not much more you can say about him. Just loving that card so much. So at the end of the match, Gelson Martins had a perfect 10 rating. I think that just kind of speaks for itself. He had two goals, plus he also drew the pin that Axel Witzel buried. So I, I would give him three goal contributions for that. He didn't have an assist. His passes though were nice. He completed most of his passes. The dribbles he took on now, that is probably a little bit skewed. I was kind of testing him out a little bit, trying to do some more difficult dribbling with him where I maybe should have passed. I was just trying to see what he would do. So I wouldn't take that. That's not a great dribbling percentage, 14 of 19. But again, I was trying to kind of put him through the ringer and see what he could do. Now, normally, well, I'm going to play another match, but I would say normally I like to play a couple matches with someone to know if how they feel. This is a card right here I can save after one match. You just really need him. He's just perfect for FIFA, just that responsiveness, those types of cards like Neymar, or, you know, just those first times you play with them, they just feel good on the ball, they're responsive, they're going to play well in good connection, poor connection, so just absolutely loving them, but let's take him into one more match, at least double check, make sure he is as good as I think he is. Oh, 
I told anybody how much I dislike Adama. Here we go. Gelson Martins in on goal. Boom, boom, boom. A little one, two, three with the Dama Atal and Gelson Martins leads to the 1v1 on the keeper. And Gelson Martins has left me no doubt so far that he will bury those once he gets in. Nice movement from Gelson Martins. Leads to being able to drop off the pass to Atal who does the finish for us. But nice, nice, nice getting free from Gelson Martins. Drawing some defenders. Able to give us back the lead. He's just always making moves. He's just always looking to run. That's what I'm loving about Gelson Martins. I don't even have him on getting behind. I have him on balanced or mixed attack, whatever they call it on that one. And he's just always looking to move, always looking to run. I'm loving it. Absolutely lethal, boys. Just absolutely insane. And it's the double bubble, Derek. Making another run. Just He just does not stop. Chip shot. Now, he ended up going with that on his left foot for some reason. So, not going to hold that against him. I do wish I would have buried that one. I probably could have dribbled it in and dribbled around the keeper. But wanted to test out his chip shot again. But the main thing is he was getting in there in that position just... I don't it's just he's just doesn't stop. It's almost like he gets better in the second half. It's like even there, there's just little things that our opponent was putting it they're putting a lot of pressure on. They're trying to get back into the game. He's just not giving the ball up. So there we have it. Another match complete with Gelson Martins, this time with a 9.5 rating, two goals and one assist. Just was absolutely epic. And it almost seems like he gets better as the match goes on. And I don't know why, but this, in this analogy may not make any sense, but he kind of reminds me of the attacking version of Conte. And it's maybe like Conte at the very beginning of the year, but he's just kind of that like little card. He's just always whipping in and out, getting in passing lanes, getting at people's feet. Just kind of seems like annoying. And it's kind of like Gelson Martins is that way on the attacking end. He's always doing something. He's always looking to make runs. He's always moving here. He's moving this way. He's moving left. He's going straight. He's going right. He's waiting for the ball. He's showing his feet. He just seems like he's always doing something. I don't know. It's just hard to explain. And then when the ball is at his feet, he just seems like it's st it's st Stays there and you're able to do some amazing things with them so I will reiterate I would highly recommend you bring this card into your team even if you use him as a super sub he's not super pricey we're also gonna have a lot more league on cards coming out uh, if you need to link them to Fabregas you can but there's also a tall I mean a tall is another one just when you first play with a tall you just know you love a tall when I first played with Adama Traore I knew that I just did not love that Adama Traore it's just just part of what it is. You just kind of know. And there's something with that Gelson Martins card. He's just absolutely next level. But anyways, guys, this is going to wrap it up for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.